Hey you, yeah you, the one who's using the same default OBS transitions between all of your scenes. We need to have a chat. Now let's get this clear, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using the same transition between every scene. But if you want to take your stream to the next level, listen up. What I'll be showing you is a plugin that lets you set different transitions between any scene in OBS. There's a few plugins out there that'll do this for you, but today I'm going to be showing you Transition Table. I used to use the Transition Override Matrix plugin, but due to some consistent bugs and a lack of recent development in the project, I've decided to switch to Transition Table. Well, let's get into setting it up. This guide is for OBS Studio. If you don't have it installed already, there's a link in the description for the download. In your web browser, go to the OBS Project Transition Table page. There's a link in the description for this also. Click Download. Now click Download again on the Windows installer. Once downloaded, extract it by right-clicking on the zip and clicking Extract All. You can just extract this to your downloads. Now run the installer. I got a Windows Defender smart screen warning when running it, but don't worry, I've confirmed it's safe by running the installer in a sandbox and reviewing its activity. You can see the results with some more detail in the description if you're interested. If you're not comfortable with this, you can always manually install the files by downloading the normal Windows zip instead. To get through Smart Screen, click More Info, then click Run Anyway. Complete the installation. Open OBS. Click Tools on the top bar. Now click Transition Table. Well now it's set up, how do you use it? You select the scene you want to transition from, then select the scene you want to transition to. Now select the transition you'd like to use and how long it should take to complete. Press the set button to implement it. Now let's see this one in action. You can see that it's working correctly. Note that the transition you have selected under scene transitions in OBS will be the default transition that's used if you haven't set up a transition between two scenes in the transition table. If you're unfamiliar, this is also where you create new transitions that you can use in Transition Table. Let's create another transition. This time, I want any scene transitioning to my end stream scene to use a fade animation. Let's see that in action. Great, now you know how to use it, here's a couple of quick hints. If you need to, you can delete the transitions you've made by ticking the box next to the ones you want to delete, then click Delete. You can use the From and To menus to search the transitions you have currently set up. Say I want to search for any transition where my main left scene is in the From section. I can just select the scene in the From drop-down menu and it will show me what I'm looking for. Similarly, you can use the To drop-down menu. Well that's it, now you know how to give your stream that extra bit of production value. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're interested in my stream setup, I stream over at twitch.tv slash nato62. Links in the description. See you next time.